Now to a one and only exclusive, a violent crash leaving a little boy trapped under a dashboard. Now that seven year old is facing a long road to recovery. The fact that he is even alive is miraculous. And now tonight, that little boy's family is speaking exclusively with Local 10 about his long fight ahead. Carlos Suarez joins us live tonight from Jackson Memorial Hospital. Carlos. The seven year old's health is improving, but he remains in intensive care here at JMH. He is having trouble speaking and it's unclear tonight whether he will ever walk again. But for his family, they're taking his recovery one day at a time. In the warm embrace of his father, little Brandon Maitland is yearning to go home. The seven year old has been in a hospital for several weeks after a car accident left him pinned in the dashboard of his grandfather's car. You want and me to put this down a little bit? The journey so far hasn't been an easy one. Hold on, but I'm gonna send you. Brandon is recovering from several broken bones throughout his body and a ruptured kidney that left him with severe internal bleeding. They had to open him open, um, open him to make sure no other organ was bleeding. The nightmare of what happened is still raw. The impact of the crash left Brandon unable to move until rescue crews delicately cut off a part of the car's roof to get him out. One night, um, he was I don't, he was sleeping and then he just started crying and kept saying no, no, no. So. I don't know if he was having flashbacks. Or. It's unclear if Brandon will ever walk again, but he's proving to be a strong fighter. His condition is improving, and for the first time, he is breathing on his own. It's tough, but you know, we're, we're hanging in there. Uh, your, heart go, uh, your heart goes out to this family. Now, Brandon's grandfather was also hurt in the crash, but he has since been released from the hospital and is doing okay. If you would like to help out the family, head over to local10.com. We are live tonight outside Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami. I'm Corlo Suarez, Local 10 News. So